wonderful cold day. Welcome back. Perfect day for painting. Colder the better when you're painting. Uh, I've got a heater going, warming it up. It's not really good when it's cold. Drywall is done, except for a couple little touch-ups. Today I'm getting everything prepped for the paint, well, for primer. And before I leave today, this place will be primed. So in this video, you will see this whole house turned white. And then after that, we'll be paint. Uh, I've gone ahead and got one window masked off. What I do is I run blue painter's tape around the windows, like so. I flip this back. Then I take some of this, which is just cheap plastic drop cloth, press it into the tape, fold the tape down, trim off the excess, and then you get this nice, tightly masked window. I just tucked it down in the bottom right there since I had that gap. So I need to get that done on all the windows, do some real quick touch-up sanding here and there, some spots I found the other day before I left. So I'm spraying with a Graco X5 sprayer. I've painted two houses with it so far, and before that I sprayed houses, and before that I rolled houses. The difference between painting a house with a roller and a sprayer is about as far apart as you can get for doing anything. Once you spray something, you will never roll anything again. Now with that said, I am back rolling. That's an important part of spraying, because what I'll do is I'll spray probably a wall or two, then I pick up a roller that's in a, a tray with a little bit of paint in it. So it's just a damp roller, it's not really loaded up with paint. And then I just quickly roll over the wall. Then I'll move on, spray the next wall, and it goes so fast, you're spraying about a 10 to 12 inch um, you know, pattern on the wall. Spray stroke, whatever it's called. So I mean, you really cover some ground quick with a sprayer, honestly. When it comes to time, especially if you're painting something big, when you're talking about the primer and the actual paint, if you just used it for one job and threw it in the trash, it's worth it compared to uh, uh, how long it takes to roll stuff. And it just is so even. When you spray, you just all the material, and I'm calling paint material, all the material goes up fast, evenly, and then the back rolling makes sure you're getting good adhesion, I guess, and it, um, in the case of my drywall, not, maybe not being perfect, going to get a little texture from the roller which will kind of even things out. I'm not concerned about this all being flawless. Uh, I know maybe some painters might cringe at certain things I'm doing, but at the same time, it's getting the job done. I'm just painting in flat white everywhere except for the bathroom, I guess. That might be a slight sheen in there just to where it's kind of an easier thing to clean, obviously, most areas of that. A lot of people paint with things like eggshell, and I don't like that. I think, um, I'm not talking about bathrooms, I'm talking about all over their house. I think when you're walking around, you see glare off your walls, it just looks, it looks weird. It looks, it just doesn't look good to me. Um, so I paint in all flat. When I do furniture, I use satin finishes. I don't like shiny stuff. Um, but uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna get the windows masked and do everything else. Then we're gonna start spraying some paint. Hallelujah.
The priming is done. The painting is now going to begin. Of course, I'm spraying white paint on white primer. It's not going to be some amazing transformation. Flat white's going everywhere except for the bathroom. A higher, uh, slightly higher sheen in there. Once the paint's dry, I can start getting all of my uh, electrical finalized with the receptacles and switches wired. Uh, I'm going to pick up some kitchen cabinets probably tomorrow, start getting those in, as well as the flooring. So things are really going to start shaping up. This part of the project, uh, renovation, usually goes pretty quick. Everything you do is a big transformation in getting it closer to being finished. done. Priming obviously is done. Things are looking really good. Very happy with it. Flat white paint is a beautiful thing. It hides things that no sheen. It just looks so clean. It's so bright. Can't tell where one wall ends and the other one starts. I'm liking my windows. I know other people said they like, uh, you know, windows are trimmed inside and outside, but just different kind of thing. I've done that in every other house that I've done too, so it's kind of fun to change it up here and there. Um, but there will be some trim around some of the doors. See, total cost of paint. I don't usually do this type of thing, but it's easy to keep up with it on the paint. I already had rollers. I had the sprayer. I've got the stick for putting on the rollers and stuff like that. But just paint alone. The primer was $46. Uh, $46 per 5-gallon bucket. I bought two 5-gallon buckets, so let's call that $100. Then the paint that I used was $60 per 5 gallons. And I used exactly five gallons. I had to tip the bucket in the end just to suck the last little bit up to get this uh, room done. The difference was is the bathroom was uh, primed. I did not spray the flat white in the bathroom. And then in addition, you are spraying bare drywall, which sucks that primer up. So the primer I went a little heavier with, the paint I went a little lighter with. Um, this is good. This house is going to get painted again and again and again, so I don't have to worry about it, uh, um, you know, I got a lot of temps, but uh, things that still need to be done. Let's go over that. Next up, installing all the receptacles and the switches. Basically, when I walk in this house, I can plug things in wherever I want and flip lights on wherever. Then I'm going to do the floors uh, and install cabinets kind of all at the same time. Probably the cabinets will go and the floors will go up against the cabinets. I'm not going to run the flooring up under the cabinets, but the flooring will go under the vanity in the bathroom, under the toilet, things like that. Then I will probably come in and I'll start doing some trim work. Uh, doors will be installed, I don't know, before or after the floors, probably after. Uh, toilet, the vanity, uh, plumbing fixtures will start to get installed into the countertops. Um, I'm going to replace the front and the back door. I'm going to be trimming around uh, doorways like this with some sort of simple trim, but just since it's like the only main uh, doorway in the house without a door, I'll go ahead and trim that out. I didn't want to drive all around that like a window because I thought it might get banged up, people moving furniture around just going through it all the time. So having a wood trim around that will be a little extra just to keep the corners in good condition. I need to put a panel on the back of the, uh, which one I call it there? The heat pump is gonna get uh, kind of set up next week. It already has one, but it just is gonna get turned on, thermostat and all that. Need to do a little bit of work with the duct. The porch on the front of the house needs to be painted, need the shingles, need the gutters. 
Then I need to do a little cover over the back door. A few things around the outside of the house, including door for the uh, crawl space on the side opposite of the package heat pump. That's all I'm going to talk about right now because I might tip over if I realize how much more work it really is. It never ends until it's over. A lot of people think, you know, I'm not smart enough. I don't know how to do this. I don't have to do that. Some people are just stupid enough to not know they can't do things and then they get them done anyway. So don't worry about not knowing how to do something. Just get started doing it. Who knows what will actually be in the next video. It's probably going to be the electrical finish up floors or cabinets. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a big journey up until this point, and I want to close things out with a few comments. Uh, this is a personal message, so I hope it's not taken the wrong way. Um, it's about decisions, both good and bad, past and present, and future. <laughs>